Hello everybody. I just want to do a quick uh, overview of how to work with RLS. I know you've used it in the past, but I just want to make sure that you're familiar with it and, and know how to get started. The URL that you need to start with is rlscloud.rit.edu uh, and you'll need to log in with your RIT credentials for this. And what that will do is it'll bring up this the starting page, which is this catalog page. You have two different pages, basically, uh, catalog and deployments. And uh, you can see I've got a deployment, but when you first log in, you're not going to have a deployment. So you're going to start out with the catalog. And, uh, and what I just uh, sent you an email about was that the uh, GCCIS IT people just put together this new deployment for us which is, come on little feller. Come on little feller. Right here, this NSSA 245 border. Uh, and you can guess that's for you guys. And, uh, and when you go to start your labs, what you'll do is you'll click on request and then that'll, uh, uh, you know, send you uh, 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 start the uh, deployment and you'll have to submit that. So you have to click on a submit tab. And then once it action, that'll take you know, a few minutes to uh, deploy. And then when it comes up initially, it's going to come up with all of the virtual machines uh, running on, on, uh, in your deployment. Uh, and, and that's fine. Then you just click on one of them and you say, you know, open the, the, the uh, console. That's all good. But when you come back to it some other time, your deployment is going to look like this and that it's going to be already deployed, uh, but they won't be running. So at this point, what you're going to want to do is to go to the PF sense deployment. Remember, this is our router. This is the device that makes it so that we can connect through it to anything else. And you can see we have a status of off on this PFSense router. Well, to check that it's really a router, what we need to do is to make sure that we have our networks in there. Now, this one just shows the one network at the moment, but when it starts up, it's going to add these two other networks with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here and I'm going to power on. And this power on, I, you know, I'm sending a request to, uh, to Arliss. And so I have to submit it. And I'm going to pause this for a second. You can see we have the in progress there as the status of that, uh, the, the submit that I just did to turn on the, uh, the Arliss, uh, uh, to turn on the PFSense router. I'm going to pause again. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> uh, you know, I did something a little bit wrong, and I think it's, uh, you know, I'll show you what I did right. And that's that instead of managing the deployment by managing the individual devices, like I've got here. Come on, show me the here. So these are all the devices on my network. What I'm better off to do off doing with a deployment like this is to manage it based on the entire deployment. So in this case, I can click over here on actions when I'm looking at this guy here, not the individual VMs, and I can say power on the deployment. Then what that does is that powers on all of the devices all at once, and that should get us our network structure and everything else. And of course, that's what we really want. Now, the next stage, once you've got the power on deployment, and of course you click on power on and it says submit, and then it takes a few minutes to do that, but it was only about three or four minutes, so it wasn't bad. And then I can go into here and I can click on these individual devices. This is my CentOS 7 instance on network A. And I can see that, you know, I'm configured properly. I can check my network. 
and it doesn't say one there that's weird let's connect to the remote console and uh, and then that will bring up our console for that device and here it comes and this uh, because I had been in here before it's uh, it's it's bringing me back to this page and let's uh, let's see what we can do for CNN just to see if it actually is functioning properly and there is my latest version of CNN this is a little bit weird but I think most of that is because of Camtasia which is my video recording tool that really you know sucks a life out of my machine so it's a real drag but that's the that's the uh, latest version of the the January jobs report which just came out from the US economy so I had another shockingly good American uh, jobs report so yeah we're all doing good from the uh, that perspective but we can also click on our applications and bring up a terminal session yeah it's really lagging behind I'm, I'm not gonna go into much more detail here but but you could you know do what you needed to do now if you wanted to go back to get to another instance you would click back up here and then go find your other instance and here we've got a uh, Windows uh, Windows 10 machine and we can go to access that remote console and that's bringing that up yeah you know my Camtasia it hammers the performance of my my laptop so much that even the browsers you know none of this work interacting with the machines is happening here on my local laptop it's all happening on on Arliss and I'm just using my browser to look at what's going on over there and even that is hard uh, doing this and uh, and so anyhow uh, so you know this is where it is it should work it uh, should be all set I don't know what it's doing there but uh, I just want to show you how to work with this and then if you are done with this thing you can you can click over here and you can suspend uh, suspend the deployment when you're done with it and you want to release the resources on Arliss for somebody else to use them uh, and or you know whatever you want when you're done with this you can click on destroy and that what that does is that gets rid of the deployment itself and 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 uh, and and you can redeploy if you so desire so anyhow that's what you'll need to do for lab and, and I hope this helps this helps have a good couple of days. We'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.